Okay, I'm not sure why, but for some reason, McDonald's has released bagels. So we've got the McBagels. I ordered, they have a steak, egg and cheese. They have a bacon, egg and cheese, and they have a sausage, egg and cheese, and they have a regular egg and cheese. So here we've got the bacon, egg, cheese, and then it looks like there's some sort of sauce. Is it mayonnaise? I don't know, it's a little yellowy. Can you see that? It looks a little yellowy, like some suspicious looking cream. It smells a little garlicky, interesting. Okay, we're just gonna. Mm. Do we know what the sauce is? Is it an aioli? Aioli? Well, that was the bacon. If I'm being honest, I'm not the biggest bacon fan. I'll eat bacon, but it's not something that I crave. Okay, we've got the sausage. You can see the, it's really melted together and stuck together. So we've got the sausage, egg and cheese. And again, look, now it's looking a little green. Can we see the tinge? Is it like a tartar sauce? Why does it feel like it belongs on, doesn't that belong on fish? Look, it's like soaking on the outside. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna just. I completely missed the sausage. Look at that. I'm not a fan of sausage, actually. I'm actually, I'm genuinely not a fan of sausage. But there's something about the the sauce. As I get older in life, my taste buds have like grown, evolved, and they've become more accepting of like flavors that were very strong that like maybe I didn't like as a child. But I think maybe I was just opposed to them because my mom used to tell me that I didn't like it. If my mom didn't like something, I wouldn't eat it. Like it wouldn't be in the house. So like I was always like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like that. But as I get older, I've become like, my taste buds have like numbed. Smoking so much weed, you know, like your taste buds burn out a little bit, I think. And you just, you start to want more stronger flavors. And this sauce, this like funky, garlicky sauce, I actually really like. Okay. Look at that, the inside is covered in the sauce. Can we see it? We'll put it on. And now, we're gonna try the sausage, the steak. What do we think it is like when they call it steak? Do we think it's just like, oh, it's just a burger patty. It's just a burger patty, okay. Oh my God, it has onion too. Interesting. This one's oily. Wow. Okay. I'm kind of excited. This one, wow. It's got the onion. It has the sauce. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
this is where it's at, you guys. Whoa. Wow. 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 Part of me wishes it was like a little crunchier, the bagel, but, um, and a little cheesier, but like, wow. Have you ever had a patty melt? Because that's kind of the vibe that um, the steak bagel is given. It's like a patty melt, only with egg. Have you ever had a breakfast patty melt? Because, wow. That was good. I really recommend that steak one. Okay, let's see. Um, if they were Spy Kids movies, I want to say that the first one would be the sausage spy kids one is the sausage spy kids two is the steak and then spy kids three is the bacon like spy kids three had a lot of promise it was like video game theme it was supposed to be 3d it like it reminded me of this one game that i used to have like f-zero x was it f-zero x i used to call it f-xerox but it was like this like racing game of like these like little spaceships i don't even remember what they were but I loved that game. I like I have like the soundtrack burned into my brain. It's like it was like that type of music. And then like you'd go over like the little pink thingies and it was like the little bubble. I fucking love that game. Like those sounds are burned into my brain. I like I spent so many hours playing that game. But anyways. Um yeah, so like if I had to assign Spy Kids movies to that, Spy Kids 2 is the stake. Spy Kids 2 is where it's at. Did you know that Spy Kids 1 and Spy Kids 2 were actually supposed to be one movie? Which like, I mean, if you look at them, the story-wise, like they do look like they would be like a whole movie, but kind of glad that they were two movies because Spy Kids 2 is just... Spy Kids 2 is a cinematic masterpiece. Spy Kids 1 is super good too, don't get me wrong, but Spy Kids 2... Spy Kids 2 made me want Heelys. Spy Kids 2 made me want to become, like, a spy. Like, Spy Kids was cool. And, like, the jetpack. And, like, the glasses and all that. And, like, the, like, you know, the little cameras and the thingy. But Spy Kids 2 is where it really went up a fucking level. Wait. Was that Spy Kids 1? Oh my god, I blended Spy Kids 1 and Spy Kids 2. Spy Kids 1 was when they went to the little safe house, and then they found all the stuff, and then Spy Kids 2 was when they went to Machete. And they got the gum, they got the cameras, they got the... Okay, that's enough. Anyways, long story short, I highly, highly recommend you watch Spy Kids 2. And also, um, try the steak. Um steak egg and cheese bagel from mcdonald's and then also i have this coffee boba coffee from jack in the box i'm not a fan of boba i'm gonna be honest with you every time my mom goes to like a thai restaurant a chinese restaurant any type of like asian restaurant she'll get like a milk tea or a smoothie that has boba like in it and I hate it, because I'm like, if I want a mango smoothie, I want the mango smoothie. I don't want some fucking boba afterwards. But there's something about this coffee that this brown sugar boba just hits. It's so good. Because see, typically when I'm drinking, I want to drink, I don't want to eat. But this coffee, this particular coffee in general, is really worth it. You guys should try out the Jack in the Box iced coffee with boba.